um, I thought I would start a video diary on my current pregnancy just to get some feelings out and just to explain what's what's going on so I'm currently 17 weeks um, pregnant with twins um, we believe they possibly are fraternal we're not too sure until we find out sex even then we may not know um, this pregnancy has been really hard um, it's been a lot of doctor's appointments hospital appointments blood tests scanning poking prodding and it's just yeah it's just taking it's it's trouble um, I'm, I'm off work this week um, I was supposed to have surgery on Friday to um, stitch my cervix. So the reason they're doing that is that because previously in August um, my partner and I lost our first pregnancy. We had a boy and he was born stillborn at 22 weeks due to my cervix being incompetent or being short and it was open and an infection occurred and the placenta got very infected and couldn't sustain him so unfortunately he was born and so this time because they're aware of it I would have been monitored a lot more closely so they've just that my cervix is short there's been two different scans one measuring at 2.3 and then the senior surgeon who I saw on last when last Wednesday uh, scanned at 3.2 which is okay so there's a bit of a bit of up and down, like I was supposed to have surgery, I was supposed to go in and get that done. But the, the evidence for multiples is that it's not that successful, which he indicated and I, I knew that. And so he is just going to monitor, I think. And we go back on Friday, another scan to see if the cervix is still closed, still measuring at the same length. Um, if it's open, who knows what they're going to do. I've been put on progesterone, which is um, for people who are have taken it, either whether if you're doing this, if you're on fertility treatment or doing IVF. Um, it's, a, it's a hormone that we do produce during pregnancy. And it's currently making me quite tired. Um, it's giving me some cramps. I'm already having Braxton Hicks, so, <laughs> and ligament pain, so it's, it's been a quite a painful pregnancy, but they're, they're the things that we do. So the goal is for us to get to 30 weeks, and that way the twins will be viable, which is, it seems to me, it seems like such a, a long, a long time away. But I imagine it'll go quite quickly, which I'm, which I'm hoping. So we're nearly halfway to get there, well we are halfway, but 37 weeks would be the, the the goal to get to their seven weeks and have them and have them health, healthy. So obviously there's the fear that my cervix will open, they will get sick and we'll lose these guys um, or something's going to happen between now and then that's going to you know endanger their lives. So that fear is always there, it's never going to go away, I always worry about that. Um, everything else is fine, um, blood tests are good, blood pressure is good, um, their, their Downs test was was clear. Um, I don't have preeclampsia, I don't have diabetes, so everything is going as well as it could be. And they're doing really well, they're growing well, which is, that, that is the main thing. It's just that my body needs to now do its thing and hopefully it will keep closed. That's the plan. Um, the amount of stress that you feel is incredible. Even if you're having a perfect pregnancy or normal pregnancy, the stress that you feel every day, are you doing things right? Are things okay? And so it's just incredibly, there's pressure to to do things and and make sure things go right. So that's, that's what, I know there's no actual pressure, but it's a pressure that we put on ourselves as women and it's, it's, it's a lot. So um, I will hopefully be back to update soon how things are going. Hopefully Friday that 
you know, a stitch would alleviate some pressure, but then it would also put other complications in place as well. So fingers crossed that the cervix stays shut, everything's going well, and it's just, I need to be monitored every other week, which is the plan. Um, if you've had a similar experience or you've got some helpful um, hints or tips or you know what you've done and how you've handled your experience I'd really love to know so that you know leave a comment or you know get in touch with me that'd be really fantastic thank you thank you for listening <laughs>